you think about the digital revolutions, the, the basic uh, distinction in the digital revolution is, is two parts of it. First of all, we digitized data and, and communication, and that has been going on since the mid of the last century, since Claude Shannon fam famous conceptualized the bit in 1948. And, and today, you know, communication is, is traveling at the speed of light through radio waves, through fiber optic cables all around the globe. And according to Albert Einstein, the speed of light is the fastest information can travel. So basically we maxed that out quite a bit already. Not everybody is connected yet. The paradigm is still uh, diffusing. Not all information is yet digitized and digitalized. Uh, but you know we're working on that and we're getting to the end of this paradigm. And a new paradigm is arising that has to do with knowledge. So you're going from uh, data and, and, and communication towards knowledge. Now, this is all part of, of, of the digital revolution, humans learning how to transform information. And if we go back and look at the big picture, which is one of the main uh, conceptual frameworks of this of this course, is the same thing, these subwaves, uh, Schumpeterian long waves, and we'll talk much more about that in a later session, uh, have always happened also in previous technological revolutions. When we became, when we started to master matter, the transformation of matter. We did that in different steps. The Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age. When we started to master energy, the transformation of energy, we did that in different steps. Water with the water mills, steam engines, electricity, uh, combustion engines, and so forth. And all of that together then, these waves that build onto each other cumulatively, we call human progress from an inf innovation theoretic, theoretic perspective. 